Miyeti Ala should negotiate with Akerulu instead of issuing threats. It will be recalled that Governor Rutimi Akerudulu of Ondo State on Monday ordered headers to vacate forest reserve over rising insecurity in the state. However, Miyeti Ala, in a swift reaction through its national president, Belu Bodejo, told the Sun newspaper that headers will not obey Akerudulu's directive because he has no right to issue such orders as the Fulanis have been in the area for over 250 years. This has generated misreaction among stakeholders across the country, especially in the north. Here are the reasons why should embrace they should embrace peace. One symbol symbolic relationship headers and indigenous people of Ondo states have been depending on one another for the means of livelihood for about 250 years now. If the claims of body job are anything to do with uh, anything to do by they have been benefiting from one another long without crisis until recently when some political elements started investigating the crisis. So economic, this is another major reason they should consider negotiation. Imagine asking a settler of over 200 years with financial resource to vacate the area. The economic activities of such areas will collapse totally and this will also hurt the state treasurers because of the revenue it usually generates from cattle on market days and other products of headers. 3. Peace and Harmony Society cannot develop in the atmosphere of rancor, therefore, they should continue to coexist as one indivisible entity. Okay, they've said that there is no way they are going to live on those states, that they, they will not obey the word of the governor, that they won't issue, that what the governor issued to them is trash that they will not live on those states that the governor has no right to tell them to vacate the forest and i ask this question who are they to say the governor does not have right to tell them to leave so are they trying to tell us now that if someone should rent an apartment in someone's house and the person tells you that he or she does not want you in his house again and asks you to leave will you not tell that person that the person has no right to issue you quick notice. Is that what you're trying to tell us? That they can't ask you to leave? Hmm. Elders are prospective tenants in Ondo State, and so the state government has the constitutional right to eject them. Have you ever heard a situation whereby an Igbo or Yoruba impressing? impressing it on any northern government how they want to live their lives hmm. my brother attire for these backward terrorist people let them live south immediately they are useless set of animals with speed biafra nature is not for any single body hmm. let's wait and see their threat they think ondo is like Benin state where they killed with impunity you people should come in the middle of the night as you used to do in Benue and anywhere you are attacking. None of you will escape. It is then that your sponsors will know that Kakino be later. Buhari had already destroyed Nigeria. We will help him destroy it more. Idiot cow brains. Hmm. Let us be reasonable and honest. Many Nigerian tribes have been living and working together peacefully for hundreds of years without any problem. But the reality of today are headers are now kidnapping our people for ransom. Headers are now raping our wives and daughters. Headers are killing our innocent citizens on our land. These headers themselves destroy our peaceful coexistence. And the most important question here is, are our people not living in the north? Are they kidnapping headers and other northerners for ransom? 
Are they raping their wives and daughters or killing northerners and herders daily? To live together, we must both respect each other and behave like normal human beings. Every tribe has the right to protect their interests, lives and property whenever threatened or attacked. The imminent question, therefore, is who destroyed our peaceful coexistence and at what cost? Dr. Joseph Adegboyega Macaulay. Hmm. Why? They are confident in issuing threats now. The president is their kinsman and panda to them. So they believe they can do as they please. I am waiting to see how this pans wants this pans out since Oton and Akiri Delu are on the war path slash right path. Wanna see who amongst them has the testicular fortitude to ride this beast okay does the headers pay tax that is the question in which part of the world does stay long as a place give you equal rights with the owner of the property staying long does not mean you can't be evicted if the owner of the property is no more is no more comfortable with your stay more so when he is having problem and think you are the cause of the problem. You have no option but to leave after the expectation, whatever notice he giving you. Hmm. Are you telling me now that we own Ondo together? God will punish you. Be you be malu people kai. They are not contributing any meaningful thing to the state, but to kidnap for ransom, rape and kill. They are only contributing troubles. That is what they've been doing. So many reactions have been going on and so many people kept on and on saying that they don't want Fulanis in their state again. But they are not listening. Instead, they are insisting on staying over their own basis of they have stayed there for a long period and they are not going to leave the place just like that. Leave the state. Leave a state if you can't abide by the laws. Open grazing has been banned. Buy land and keep your animals the freedom of movement spelled out in the constitution is not for cows but human. If most have moved your cows around, cause havoc, please go back to your state and do that. Buy land for where in no good better for any Yoruba that we sell land for Fulani. <laughs> okay, most the most annoying thing the man said was to tacitly claim responsibility for the killings that had been going on in Benue and using it as a threat. It is unfortunate that the situation in Benue is quite different in the South because we now know your modus operandi and people are ready to cut your food soldiers vigilantes to seize your era of impunity is over. That is it. The agenda is to come and claim on those states as their land as they did in Benue and Play too. They are liars. They can't do that. They no rich. They no feed one.